Father Sabrino, what do you think is the lasting contribution of liberation theology to our tradition? Well, I think, well, first of all, liberation theology is a name, okay. Uh, but it means something. It, it's, not, uh, it's not a recipe. It's not just uh, a series of books, even good books, from Gustavo Gutierrez or whatever. See, liberation theology has as its origins, and I think that's, that's its lasting contribution, that we see reality in a different way. What does that mean? That, I don't know how to say it in English. In reality, reality uh, irrumpe, uh, erupts. erupts. What we had seen for years, even for centuries, but didn't see, all of a sudden we do. And what's that? The poor of the world, not the poor. And also, simultaneously, that's why it is theology. It's a Christian way of looking at things. That in this new, in this reality which erupts, God is present. That's all. That for me is the lasting contribution. Huh? Uh, then of course you have to do many things with it. You have to be uh, well, a prophet, or many, many things. But basically is this, to be fascinated by a reality which has been there for centuries and we didn't see, uh, and then act accordingly to that. Now I think that's my, that's more theological if you wish. That helps to interpret the Bible, the Gospels, in a, I would say, in a better way. Mm -hmm. huh? So I think there is a word here, hermeneutics. Liberation theology in the final analysis is that, uh, one, hermeneutics to what? To interpret better, maybe the Word of God, the, the Gospels. In the case of, say, like, uh, I'm, I'm a Jesuit, and uh, Ignacio Jacuria was a Jesuit, and I think he reinterpreted also the uh, Ignatian uh, tradition. Uh, so I think that's what it is. In one word, that the, there are two references, last reference, two. God and the poor of the world, mm -hmm. that's it. Your recent book called There is No Salvation Outside the Poor, could you say just a little bit about who are the poor and what do you mean by salvation? Yeah. Well, uh, obviously the, the poor, poor. It, it depends who you are in order to say a word about who they are. But anyway, so uh, I'm now in the uh, Western Hemisphere in the States, or even in, in El Salvador, I work at the university, I live in a normal house. Uh, I have come to define the poor in this way. First of all, poor are those who don't take life for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, again, that's uh, open to many, many interpretations, but they don't take life for granted. In other words, it's easier for me to define who are not poor. Those of us who take life for granted. That's, my, that's the obvious presupposition. For me. Uh, I can eat, have a house, uh, if my, uh, I can go to a doctor. Okay. So poor are those who don't take life for granted. Uh, that, of course, means uh, something absolute, uh, but also relative. What is life? Well, the minimum of life is well, food and so on. Uh, that's the minimum of basic life. In other places, you might have enough to eat you know, on social uh, service, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the minimum of dignity. I mean, people are those who don't take dignity for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said yesterday, poor are those who don't even have a name, as I mentioned before. Congo, I didn't know what Congo was. I studied geography when I was a child. Uh, that's one thing. Another different, another approach to identify poor is poor are those people who historically, historically, have almost all the powers of this world uh, against them. Uh, either actively against them, like oppressors, uh, 
or if not actively, at least they are not taken seriously into consideration. So that type of, now more technically, more technically, uh, poor are those who are deprived from uh, from their work, the, the value of their work, where that comes from, the formulations come, come mm -hmm. from Marx. But then, and, and that I think is, I, I don't know whether it's uh, something typical of liberation theology or whatever, but poor are people uh, who have lots of values. Not all of them, and not all values. One is um, being able to, how can I say this? Well, to have a hope, which is not the obvious. Huh? Yeah. They think they have God on their favor. Whether they say it in those words or not, probably they don't. Uh, they, have, <clears throat> they have hope, maybe this generation, or three generations from now. I, I don't want to mix up things, I don't. But uh, now that um, Barack Obama has become uh, president of the states, many things can be said about that and have been said and will be said. But I remember the uh, movies, uh, two or three centuries ago, uh, African Americans here. Uh, well, again, I, 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 I have nothing to tell them. But I, I imagine when I, Two or three centuries ago, uh, certainly in music, they expressed something. The suffering is obvious, huh? and we have seen that. We have seen that also in movies, books. But they express some sort of hope. Uh, in the case of the uh, uh, African Americans, in religious language, uh, it's fantastic, fantastic. Huh? Um, well. Going back to Obama. Now, three centuries from uh, since then, symbolically, symbolically, I saw on television uh, black people cry in tears. Mm -hmm. What's that? What what hurt? Nothing. Uh, what, were they be, did they become crazy? I don't know. But something happened. Mm -hmm. They have been the shepherds of hope for centuries. Uh, uh, that to me is very important. Of course, uh, so I see all this type of things in in the poor. In El Salvador, uh, last week, uh, the 16th, the Jesuits were assassinated. We celebrated the anniversary, the university. And for me, the most important thing of the celebration is when the university opens. Well, it's always open, but as a fact, peasants, people from small communities, so the, the poor people uh, go there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I imagine, if not all of them, certainly most of them have, in, have had uh, victims in their family. Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe a father, a son, <laughs> or a mother, or something. And they, uh, with, uh, with candles, we have a candle procession huh? in silence. Huh? Uh, I ask myself, well, what are they thinking about? Uh, what do they feel? Again, I don't know. But my guess is they are celebrating something. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't that uh, absurd in a way? Yes, but uh, no. Um, so these poor people, they the reservoir of something which usually you don't find, don't find outside that world. I don't know whether this is clear or not, but uh, I don't want to say more concrete things because I don't know the poor that well, uh, and it's, it's up uh, to them uh, to say who they Thank are. You. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.